Hello students in this video you observe how the behavior of charger differs between conducting and non conducting spheres also you learn how there are changes in the electric field intensity inside and outside conducting and non conducting charged spheres today let's dive back into the world of charged spheres however this time we will explore the behavior of electric potential inside and outside a charged sphere with the help of animation and visual whenever we discuss charged spheres we can categorize them into two types the first being the hollow sphere and the second being the solid sphere. Sphere, where a charged hollow sphere can be metallic or conducting it can also be non metallic or non conducting similarly a solid charged sphere can be either conducting or non conducting it's quite evident that in a metallic hollow sphere charges will reside on the surface and the same applies to the non metallic hollow sphere additionally as we know in a solid conducting sphere charges ripple and accumulate on the surface this implies that for electric field and potential the formulas and derivation will be exactly the same for conducting hollow spheres non conducting hollow spheres and conducting solid spheres however in the case of solid non conducting sphere charges do not accumulate on the surface but are distributed throughout the volume in this scenario the derivation and formula will be entirely different therefore we have two cases for derivation first when charges are on the surface of the sphere and second the unique case when charges are uniformly distributed in the volume in the first case we find that charges are on the surface of the sphere as you know the electric field ep at any point p outside the sphere is given by kq by r square where r is the distance between the center of the sphere to point p now let's calculate the electric potential vp outside the sphere specifically when r is greater than the radius of the sphere capital r You may be familiar with the formula that potential difference del V is equal to minus the integration of dot product of electric field E and dr. This potential difference always exists between two points and here we will consider point P with potential Vp strategically taking the second point as infinity since the potential at infinity is zero we can say that Vp is equal to the integration E dr between two points P and infinity. we can represent e dr as e dr cos theta where you know that angle between e and dr will be 0 degree by solving this simple integration you will get kq by r this will help us to calculate potential outside the surface charged sphere and the potential on the surface simplifies to kq by capital r where r is the radius of the sphere you may have observed that the formula for electric potential of a sphere and that of a point charge outside at any point p is the same this indicates that despite the charges being on the surface we consider the distance r from the center rather than from the surface as you know in this case the electric field is radially outward from the surface giving the impression of electric field lines emerging from the center as if a positive charge is placed at the center this aspect is reflected in the derived formula where we consider the distance from the center this holds true for all types of charged spheres as we will continue to consider the distance from the center for other cases of charged sphere as well however now the most crucial aspect we need to understand is the electric potential inside a uniformly charged sphere with the help of gauss's law you are already aware that electric field inside a surface charged sphere is zero once again let's consider del v equals to minus the integration of the dot product of e and dr we will choose a point p inside the charged sphere however this time we won't consider infinity because as we move from outside of the sphere to inside at point p the electric field suddenly becomes zero making it impossible to continuously integrate from infinity to point p to solve this let's consider a point s just inside the surface we will assume that potential at point s is equal to the potential on the surface of the sphere now we can say that the potential difference vp minus vs between point p and s is equal to the minus integration between s and p of e dot dr however as per gauss's law e is zero meaning vp minus vs is zero this implies that vp is equal to vs and vs is equal to kq by capital r this gives us an interesting result that the potential inside the sphere at any point remains constant and equal to the potential on the surface that is kq by r certainly we can also understand this concept through the equation dv equals to e dot dr if we express it as dv by dr equals to e it becomes clear 
that they are equal. Now, considering that inside the square, the electric field is zero, which means dV by dr is equal to zero. This implies that we must be constant, as everyone knows. The derivative of a constant is zero. Therefore, we can conclude that V P or V inside is constant, and the expression of V outside, V surface, and V inside would look something like this. Let's visualize the scenario of a surface charged sphere through a graph. Take V on the y-axis and R on the x-axis. As you move from the center to R, the electric potential remains constant. After that, it suddenly decreases beyond the surface, creating a graph like this. Now it's time to determine the electric potential for a solid non-conducting sphere where charges are uniformly distributed throughout the volume. Firstly, calculate the electric potential outside the charged sphere and you will find that the result is the same as the previous case. This is because here too the electric field is radially outward appearing to come from the center and we will measure the distance from the center. Similarly, the electric potential V for the surface will be similar, where we replace the distance with the radius capital R. However, for a charged sphere where charges distributed throughout its volume, the inside electric potential will be different. This is because in this case, charges are also present inside the sphere. So the electric field will not be zero inside. To derive this case, we know that del V is equal to minus the integration of E dot dr, which can also be expressed as E dr cos theta, where theta is zero. Now we have the integration of E dr remaining. All right. So now let's focus on a specific scenario. We will consider one point S just inside the surface of the sphere with a radius r. The second point P is inside the sphere and the electric potential at this point need to be calculated. Now you can integrate between the radius r and the distance r to calculate the potential difference between these two points denoted as Vp minus Vs. You can express Vs as Kq by capital R. And in this video, we understood that inside a sphere of charge, the electric field will be rho r by 3 epsilon naught. Here rho is the volume charge density, which can be written as the total charge Q divided by the volume of the complete sphere, that is 4 by 3 pi r cube. This gives us the modified expression for the electric field inside the sphere of charge. Now, we can write 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught as k. So the final equation for the electric field inside the sphere becomes kqr divided by capital R cube. Now, in the integration, we can replace kqr divided by r cube in the place of e. The constant kq by capital R cube will be taken outside the integration and the integration of r dr will be r square by 2. When we place the upper and lower limit, our equation takes a form like this. Then upon expanding it, we get minus kqr square by 2 r cube plus kqr square by 2 r cube. Now, bring kq by capital R to the right side, making it positive by taking minus kq by 2 r as common factor from the resulting equation and cancelling r square. You get an expression inside the bracket r square by capital R square minus 1. In the final step, multiply both numerator and denominator of kq by r by 2 by taking kq by 2 r as common again. The bracket simplifies to 2 minus r square by r square plus 1. Ultimately, it becomes 3 minus r square by r square. In conclusion, this gives us the formula through which we can calculate the electric potential at any position inside a sphere of charge. Additionally, when we plot this on graph, we observe that the electric potential is maximum at the center and gradually decreases toward the surface. Beyond the surface, the potential V is inversely proportional to R, decreasing according to 1 by R. To understand the electric field inside a charged sphere, watch this video. It simplifies the variation of electric field, making it easier to grasp the electric potential within the sphere. Thank you so much for watching.